Should the world force the Middle East to have an enlightenment, or should they do that in their own time? It was the forcing method was already tried. No, not neither of those two is correct. Okay, neither of them. Neither of the. Yeah, I was just gonna say the forcing option has already been tried uh, in Iran and in Turkey, and look at what's happening there now. Uh, What what it's really is. It's not actually enlightenment values. You're right, Ali, because you can't because it's against the values. But it's an attempt to make it look like you already got there without actually taking the steps. So mm-hmm. that's an overcorrection that is going to have a nightmarish reaction to it, which is going to get you an Islamic republic. I mean, I tell people like Iran went from a country that uh, within one generation, okay. And it was the only country in the world where hijab was illegal. Went from that country to now being the only country in the world where hijab is mandatory for everyone, including non-Muslims and including foreigners. And that's how extreme it is for being one extreme to another extreme. Yeah. So and but the other option let them let to just let them get there by themselves. What that's not those are not the two other options. The only two options people. The, uh, people get you, you could invite people you could introduce people to enlightenment values you could try selling enlightenment values you could start promoting enlightenment values that's neither forcing or abandoning people secular jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in muslim majority countries advocating for atheists secularists and enlightenment thinkers we want to reach out to more people if we reach 500 patrons we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.